Saint Germain and Banks. No, not Carlisle. No, forget it. We can't afford him. Okay, we'll lay him on me. No, forget about that. What about your kid, your uh, new kid in junior? No, I can't give you Sylvie. No, he's protected. No, I'm telling you, I can't. Give him Sylvie. The guy's got a no-trade clause. He'll take Florida. His wife's pregnant and her family's down there. Uh, you know what? I will consider Sylvie. Yeah, but you're gonna have to uh, give me some guarantees on the guy. We can't lose Brownie Aki. That's the beauty of it. We don't have to. He does his Finnish military for six months. We uh, save on his salary. We don't even have to pick up on another contract. And you can fix that. Uh, Colonel Korosmaki, please. Yeah, I met this guy in uh, New York. He was a spy for the UN, and now he tracks down Finnish draft dodgers. Pekka! Brett Parker! <laughs> I know, a long time. Meton menesiel e boltiesa. Hey, Hey. Yeah, I know. Very dark down here, too. Hey, listen, you remember Yuka Braniaki? Is that right? Well, boy, do I have some good news for you. Yeah, he'll be right down. Okay, you finished bastard. Yep, all right, we're finished, you're finished, bye. Not a good night for the Steelhead, Chicago in control. Corelli walks in, rings one off the post. What the hell is Hamilton that? now tries to organize in their own zone. Simpson barking out orders. They leave the puck behind their own net. Foto swings it, he scores! What has happened to the Steelheads? Hamilton is being beaten to every puck, out hit at every turn, and they're terrible in their own end. Ingerson with the puck. He coughs it up. Here's Foto, a shot, he scores! They're not like the Tigers of 25. I'm more like Gordon Sinclair in 83. All right, that's it. We're done. OK, well, that's it. We're done. OK, we're all set. Yeah, we're done. All right. Well, then we're done. Well, they'll be on a flight by tomorrow afternoon. A hey, pleasure. So? We make it? Basically, yeah. <laughs> the fans are going to hate us for gutting the team. But... Hey, at least they'll have a team. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> Same to you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Wanna go for a real drink? I don't know. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's my uh, yeah. mole from New York. Better take it. Someone down there better have an explanation for Todd's suspension. Time is running out for Hamilton, and the way they're playing, that may not be so bad. Here's another shot. Corelli scores! And the wheels have come completely off for the Steelheads. Is there something going on I don't know about? Thank you. Bye-bye. It doesn't make any sense, and nobody's talking. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess the moral of that story is not to send Harry Strand down to do a man's job. What? It was you, wasn't it? What was? What was? Todd's suspension. You pulled a few strings. I couldn't do that. You used your connections. Come on, who do you think I am, Al Capone? You just got Brownie drafted into the Finnish military tonight. You could get Todd suspended in your sleep. <laughs> hey, look, well, I don't know what the guy... Don't even try to deny it, Parker. I'm tired. And I get mean when I'm tired. Okay, okay. No, don't, don't get mean. Listen, what was I supposed to do? Let you send Strand down there so he could 
you know, come out some kind of hero. Look, the guy, next thing you know, he'd be GM. That's what he wants. You know, he's got some kind of maniacal plan, Colleen. He does this. He does this thing wherever he goes. So you get your own player suspended. I, I, I did, uh, I do what I have to do. Yeah. You are unbelievable. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what, what just happened here? Come on, we, we... Come on, we did some good work tonight. It is all moves with you, Parker. Never any consequences. No people at the other end. Just one move after another. It is a ten-game suspension. Colleen, Todd is gonna get over that. Well, what exactly is the problem You here? know, I really wish... I was more like you sometimes. Just do what I do and not give a damn who gets hurt or who gets fired or who is lying in a coma somewhere. How easy that must be. You know, I guess those lamps were just a coincidence. Hey. We lost. I know. Guys just fell apart out there. I don't know what happened. I miss you. I miss you too. I'm sorry. Things have been a little crazy lately, you know? With your dad, with Todd, and then the guys freaking out. I just, I feel like I'm being pulled in 12 different directions and I'm just not coming through for anybody. Simsy! Oh, I'm glad I didn't miss you guys. Listen, Dusk is gonna be okay. He woke up about half an hour ago. That's great. But where have you been, Todd? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah, I was, I was at the hospital, you know, kind of hiding. Good about Dusky, though, eh? Yeah, it's great. You know you got suspended. Yeah, I heard. You know, it's weird. It kind of made me feel better. It's a Catholic thing, I guess. <laughs> hey, Mr. Calder. Oh, God. How's it hopping? Red and shorty green, right? Uh, red, red, shorty. Okay. So, uh, what? You guys were suspended and you, you weren't able to play for the cup. So now you're here to tell me uh, how wrong I was, right? And how uh, I let greed kill the game. Huh? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Hell no, Mr. Calder. We wanted to thank you. Locking us out was the best thing you could have done. It was. Sure. Well, up in Sudbury, we were making jack squat. <laughs> Playing for fun, if you can believe that. Well, then down here in Hamilton, I mean, the money turned OK. Then New York bought the whole damn team and doubled our pay. We got dollar bills coming out our ears. And all the hooch we can drink? And more dames in Rudy Valley. <laughs> well, we're the New York Americans now. <sighs> yeah, guys, what about uh, playing for the cup? You know, what about the love of the game? Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we miss it sometimes. And we are playing some pretty god-awful hockey. <laughs> Those New Yorkers don't know the difference anyway. And what's the point of loving the game if the game don't love you back? Gotta make the game pay, right? 
Thanks again, Mr. Calder. You showed us the way. Bud Travis. I hope you don't mind me barging in like this. I just want a chance to speak with you in private. Yeah. Do we have something to speak about? Well, the steelheads are pretty well over. You won't find another cable broadcast deal. You can trust me on that one. Mm -hmm. I figure a slick guy like you would see the wisdom in coming over to my side again. Like you were before you took on this fool-ass job. How about it, Mr. Parker? How about help me move this team to Houston? Why don't you step into my office? <laughs>